Welcome back, Stedders. We are in April, what is it, April 8th, April 9th, maybe it's April 10th. I don't even keep track of the day sometimes. But we got a lot going on. The horses are happy back there. The chickens are happy. The goats are happy. We got two baby goats. I am going to be planting my garden outside soon. I started some seeds inside. I'm gonna buy some starters, um, maybe barter for some starters. But there's something I planted planted last year, um, almost a year. I planted them um, in uh, March maybe, and it's April, so almost a year. And it took a year for um, a crop to finally show up. So I'm going to show you what took me a year to grow, and I'm eating it tonight. That's right, my mushrooms, my mushroom logs. These here are tulip poplar logs and I'm growing oysters on them. So those are some oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest those in a second. Over here, still there's no fruiting. Um, these are shiitake. They're on cherry and oak. Um, it doesn't seem like I have anything growing just yet. It's been almost a year for both of these. I have gotten one or two oyster mushrooms. Um, we've gotten a lot of rain. What I'm going to do next is I am going to go ahead and soak these in water for about 24 hours. And I'm going to force a mushroom flush. I'm going to be doing that soon. I'll make a video on it. But let's go ahead and harvest these oyster mushrooms. We're having hamburgers tonight, so uh, hamburgers with some nice mushrooms on them. But let's go ahead and harvest these babies. I accidentally twisted this baby off already, but uh, look at this beautiful oyster mushroom. I mean, it's so beautiful. Look at those gills, iridescent. So there's one nice mushroom. Let's go ahead and harvest these other babies here. Just gotta take them in, wash them off. It's a beautiful mushroom. Yummy, yummy for the tummy tummy. Looks like we got one more over here. There's a smaller one. Just do a light twist and they pop off. Look how beautiful that is. And it's gonna be delicious. You know what, I'm going to take this one just because I'm going out of town. And it's just a little guy, but that's okay, we're going to take him too. I wouldn't normally do this, I wouldn't normally take a small one, but we're leaving in a day or two, so I'm not going to be able to enjoy this while I'm gone. I got about five or six of these oyster mushrooms, I think I got a spider web on me. But, the cool thing is, growing mushrooms initially takes a good, a fair amount of work. You gotta harvest the logs at the right time. You gotta get your mushroom spawn, your logs ready. You have to inoculate, you gotta have wax. But then after that, it's kind of sit and forget. So sitting and forgetting is nice on the homestead because I have so many other things I'm doing. Um, I'm working with elderberries, with my honeybees. The wife is doing horses. Uh, we got goats, we got pet pigs, we got a daughter, of course. So. Mushrooms are kind of sit and forget and then when it's time to harvest you can put them in water, force the flush and this is another way that I'm using my forest resources. I already have tons of trees so I might as well do something with those trees. So I am really excited about using my forest resources. Um, if you want to learn to grow mushrooms it's really easy. You need logs 
certain mushrooms grow on certain logs a lot better they need to be fresh cut logs so they have sugar for the fungus to use fungus are um, not photosynthetic some people think they're photosynthetic they're not autotrophs like plants they're heterotrophs like animals they get their nutrients from the dead and decaying logs but they need a fresh log so they can get enough sugar. So if you want to grow mushrooms, it's fun, it's easy. I'm not going to take a bite out of it because it's going to taste a lot better cooked. And it's delicious. If you like our video, subscribe, leave us a comment, say what's up. Whatever you want to do, I want to hear from you. Till next time. Mm.